I do believe it is. Hey, welcome to Who are you with? Photo <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> photo moment. The first uh, the the first Facebook television show uh, dedicated <laughs> to <laughs> television. What's a television? I have no who idea. Have, who who I have no clue what television is. I haven't got a clue. Well, hopefully this is live. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live daily photography and video show on Facebook. That's what I meant That's to say. That's the one. There you <laughs> go. There you go. Anybody watching live, give us a little shout out. Give us a little love. Say hello in the comments. So today we are we are on location. Um, and hopefully we're actually live. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Something's happening. I see it. Well, there's no viewers. That never happens. So something's going on. Then again, I did delay it by half an hour. I probably really screwed people up. Well, there you go. Somebody just came on. So hopefully that's good. Sweet. So yeah, whoever's watching live, please say hello in the chat. We always love to hear from you. So today what we're doing is we're setting up a live streaming um, uh, setup. There you go. Technical word. For a client. And we're trying to do this kind of on a budget. Well, really on a budget because that's how yeah. these things work. Definitely. And so in in consideration of that, there's a lot of, I built together, put together kind of a good, better, best scenario for the client of what they could get as far as the camera, the lighting, the streaming solution, everything, audio and so on. And what we've come up with here is a mix of a uh, mix of the lower and the medium range. And we are getting some comments coming in. Lovely David, Sully, thanks for coming in guys. Always great to see you here. Appreciate you coming in even though we're half an hour later today. Because this start got pushed a half an hour later and I wanted to make sure that we had uh, we had time to get started before we started this. So hello SZ Scotty and hello Houston. Awesome. So let's start with the camera. But that's kind of an important aspect of it. Um, so you know in my recording studio we were using GH4's excellent power. Thank you. We'll be needing this later. Uh, we ooh, Radio Shack branded even. Fancy. We are wow. using GH4's in the beginning and uh, still got a GH4 as a second camera. Now we have the Blackmagic studio camera in there. Lots of advantages to that. But in this environment, we needed something a lot cheaper. And so what we ended up with is this Panasonic video camera. It's not a, not a DSLR or DSLM, this is a video camera. And I think, we haven't plugged it in and turned it on yet, but this should work out well. It's 1080p, actually I think this one's even 4K. No, maybe it's the 1080p version, but HD is all we need. What I was able to confirm before I bought it with B&H because they got great support for pre-sale support. If they don't know the answers, the guy went and looked it up in the user's manual to make sure he could tell me the right answer. This thing will run off of its power, which I gotta say, I was pretty impressed at this. It's a little power charger is USB. So it means you can charge this thing in your car. So this will run while on power, the HDMI out will be on, and then I can have a mic input so I can hook up a good mic. Now the microphone was an interesting part of this. So when you're buying, we want to go lav mic because that's definitely the easiest. This is going to be one person on camera. So lav mic's a great solution, but when you have a camera like this, you don't necessarily know whether a lav mic, the traditional non-powered lav mic is going to work because some of these cameras put power into the microphone port and some don't. Even if they do, you don't really know what you're going to get as far as power. Is this going to be any good? Are the preamps going to be any good in here? So instead of taking a risk, what we ended up doing was getting, here we go. This little guy, this is the Zoom H1? Is that the same as? Uh, H1, yeah. H1, yeah, Zoom H1. Tiny little guy. This has microphones, so if my client needs to have multiple people on set instead of just herself, then she can just set this on the table and that'll work out really well. Not as good as a couple of labs would work, but still be great and way better, obviously, than the on-camera mic. And this came as a kit from B&H. Uh, you know, products from different manufacturers, they sell those little kits. So the Zoom H1 with the Rode Smart Lab Plus, which I've talked about a lot before. I love this mic. And then the little SC6 adapter to convert it from the TRRS for your iPhone into this. So this becomes the preamp, there's your mic, and then this will run audio out, line out into this camera here. And we got a nice heavy duty audio cable for that because I wanna make sure we don't get any interference in the audio, any noise on the, on the audio chain coming through. So that's gonna be our mic setup. We have nice long cable, so this will sit on the desk and then the cable will be able to run to the camera. So there's that. So we've got a bunch of comments coming. Let me take a quick look at these, see what's going on. Today it's more laggy and choppy. Yeah, it is, guys. I know we're, we're on a Wi-Fi signal in here that is um, not ideal, unfortunately. So if it keeps dropping out, we will, of course, replace the feed later on if needed um, with any luck. So sorry, guys, if it's kind of a crappy signal today. And that's actually, that's a really good point. So going 
live with a Wi-Fi signal is always, always risky. We will be running a hard line into this room, but we don't have that yet because we just started setting up. We have to measure, we're gonna run it through the ceiling and all that. So that will get set up eventually, but it's not there yet. Um, okay, so that's the audio and the camera. The camera will do HDMI out into, I've talked about this guy before, the AV.io from Epifan. Epifan is the company that makes the streaming, the Webcaster X1 that we're not too happy with yet. Also makes the Pearl 2 that I looked at yesterday. This is the unboxing yesterday. Oh, that hopefully rocks. Haven't gotten any farther than the unboxing. But this is a hard piece of hardware that I know works really, really well. And this is a class compliant DVI slash HDMI to USB converter. It's expensive, but it works. 100% of the time, this thing has been rock solid. And when you connect any HDMI source into this and plug it into your computer, your computer sees it as a webcam, which means anything like Skype or Google Hangouts or anything that uses your webcam will see this camera as a webcam. Now, the client needs to use Zoom.us, which is a, a video conferencing service, and they use that because it's HIPAA compliant. This is a medical facility, so it's HIPAA compliant, so they use that. They're also going to do things to Facebook. So the, the Zoom.us is easy, right? Their computer, they log into Zoom. The webcam, it, the Zoom service sees it as a webcam and off we go. Facebook's a little bit more complicated. There are some desktop Facebook solutions we'll probably be looking at, but right now we're gonna start off with um, OBS, Open Broadcasting System, which is a free streaming solution that goes to Facebook. I haven't used it yet, but it's that or we have to spend $500 on Wirecast and we're trying to avoid that. So we're gonna see if we can get OBS to work. Lighting wise, we went with, let's just see if there's any other comments before I jump on there. Um, yes, it's choppy, someone must be watching Netflix, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry for those who are, who are <laughs> watching. Yeah, Wi-Fi just isn't, I know, I know. And it's, it's, it's funny because it says over there that the signal is good, but I guess it just isn't. Good, um, not great. Good, but not great. Anyway, lighting is the next one. So Sean here so diligently putting together this lighting kit. This is a four, each stand, each setup has four CFL lights in it. This should put out a pretty serious amount of light. And this was, um, this was cheap. This was really cheap. I would rather be using LED lights, but they cost a lot more. This is a really inexpensive setup. So we're gonna see how this works. And with three lights, it's gonna be plenty of light for this. So I think we're gonna be good to go. So yeah, um, Panasonic camera, all of these links are already in the description. So if you wanna get a closer look at them, Panasonic video camera with the HDMI out, audio in is gonna be coming in over the zoom with the lab connected to it. HDMI from here into the computer via the AV.io, lighting from the impact, and pretty much it, isn't it? That's, uh, it? that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Pretty straightforward setup. Single camera, obviously. So what this removes from the equation compared to the studio setup that I have is it single camera, right? As soon as you add a second camera, everything changes. Now you have to have some kind of switching solution and someone has to do the switching. It becomes a completely, completely different animal. But with a single camera, it's a lot easier to deal with, a lot easier to uh, to work with. So that's what we're dealing with here today. Um, not very expandable, right? If a client wants to go to a higher, wants to go with multiple cameras or do anything bigger, then some of this is gonna have to get thrown away. But um, for a starting budget, you know, this is under $2,000 for the hardware, it's, uh, it's a pretty good deal. We are going to be acoustically treating the room. We use a company called Aurelux that provides acoustic foam and acoustic paneling. They also have a service, a free service when you're going to buy their stuff, where they will map out the room and tell you exactly what to buy and where to put it. And you tell them what your budget is and they figure out how to maximize that. So they have the dimensions of this room, the schematics of it, and where the camera's got to be and everything else. And they are currently working on that for me. So within another day or so, I should have that. And then I'll know what foam to buy and where to put the things on the walls and on the ceiling. And that's it. That's pretty much all we got. Anything yeah. to add to this? I don't think so. Any... I'm interested to see how this uh, this camera works out. Which one did you end up with here? Uh, I of course it's a Panasonic. Panasonic. Well, you know, I mean, I'm no dummy, it is, right? Um, yep. So that's uh, that's where we're at, David. Um, thanks for the Trump reference in there. Yes, it's the other end. Sad. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but still, thumbs up. I appreciate that. The hardware, the Wi-Fi is not able to deal with the workload. Um, it shouldn't be the hardware, one would hope, but you just you just never know, do you? You never really know. Right. Okay, guys, we're going to kill it here. If you missed any of this, um, if the what's recorded on YouTube isn't any good, it'll be later this afternoon, but we will get this replaced and so get a better quality one out there. All right, that's that. Let's step off screen for 20 seconds so we can run and do a little thing for the forums. Yeah, okay. Hey, good. don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, thumb Bye. down, do whatever you like. See you guys later. Bye-bye.